Good morning, good morning, good morning, and welcome back to my channel. As you can tell, I'm in a rather good mood this morning. I have literally just finished <laughs> my morning coffee, mm, and it has literally given me that burst of energy that I needed this morning. I woke up feeling a little bit like, I woke up this morning feeling a little bit tired and a little bit like I just needed a little shot of caffeine, and now that I've had it, I'm feeling so much more rejuvenated, so much fresher, and it also definitely helps. I really like my outfit today. I am literally wearing one of my favourite winter outfits of all time. It's just a black jumper, which I absolutely love. This is the New Look one, which I have been wearing so, so much. It's part of the Kate Hutchins collection from New Look. I will link it down below for you guys. And then I'm wearing my old favourite tartan skirt. Now, this is actually a year or so old from H&M. I will see what I can find down below. I'm not going to be able to find the exact one one but I will link a few similar ones down below because I just think tartan skirts are so so cute for Christmas time and then the way that I would style this up if I was to be leaving the house is with a pair of tights and boots but because I'm not I'm just wearing my little slippers my H&M slippers which I literally cannot get enough of at the moment I have been wearing them so much they're so cozy they keep me nice and snugly warm they make me very happy so that is today's outfit of the day and I always feel like when you have a nice outfit on that makes you feel good it really lifts your mood and this is one of those outfits that I just adore it's a really like me outfit it just feels so Ellie it feels so cute and girly it feels very dare I say festive because we've got the little bit of the red tartan and it just makes me really really happy I've just finished like obviously doing my makeup and getting myself ready I'm wearing today on my lips the oh please call her the Charlotte Tilbury lipstick in the shade Duchess. Now this is one that I literally have not worn for so long and I forgot how much I love it. But it's a really nice just like bit of a pinky nude. Like if you like um, pillow talk which is a very classic. It's a little bit more pinky than that and I really really like it. I assume they still do it. So I will link it down below for you guys if you do want to shop. It's very difficult putting a lipstick cap on one handed. But I will link it down below if you guys do want to shop. It's always nice to be able to like mix up my makeup a little bit. Try a different lipstick because you guys know I wear the NARS Orgasm lip butter far too much I thought I would try something different today and I've actually been switching up my makeup quite a lot recently to the point that my makeup bag is kind of overflowing at the moment so I feel like we need to have a little bit of a sit down and a sort through it because I like to have a really curated makeup bag full of what I wear every day and then I can put my bits that maybe I don't reach for as much in like my drawers or my shelves and things like that so I feel like we need to go through my makeup bag. Well, this is a fun little setup. I quite like that I can just put you there and then we can go through the makeup bag. So as you can see, it's not closing, which means we have too much in it. So I need to go through because as I said, I've been adding lots of bits in. Like if you saw my last video, you would have seen I've been adding in the Dior bronzer, which I'm also kind of terrified to keep in my makeup bag because I don't want it to go like to get covered in makeup but I feel like it's probably a bit inevitable that's the problem when packaging is so beautiful is that you just don't want to use it um but I've been adding that in my hourglass which is obviously a big one I still have my NARS one so I feel like I need to take everything out um, and kind of go through what I'm actually using because the Chanel Tanda Chanel bronzer as you guys know I'm not using at the moment because it's just too summery Okay, so there's a few things that I can probably get rid of from the get-go. Um, first of all, the Body Shop Skin Defense SPF to be perfectly honest, this is practically empty. And I feel like it's not going to last until next summer. So I can probably chuck that. Um, the MAC Mineral Mineralized Skin Finish. Really OG classic powder. I love it, but I've not been using it recently because instead I've been replacing it for my Laura Mercier. This is the... Um, translucent loose setting powder the light capture powder and i've been loving this a lot more so i feel like this is probably not for bin but can be at least put away for a little while along with the chanel tan de chanel bronzer i can put that away i feel like this definitely needs replaced and i know i have a spare one do i have it in here actually i do indeed oh my god that is actually awful old and new so that can definitely go in the bin and this one can go in and then I'm loving the hourglass palette so that's definitely gonna go in the NARS euphoria palette I just use every single day mainly because of the brown eyeshadow shade maybe I should look into getting like an individual eyeshadow um like shade pot because it's a big palette to keep mainly just for that shade but oh well um I'm then using the NARS Velatra 
which is the one that I use on my eyeshadow um, and I absolutely love that in terms of bronzer we're using the Dior bronzer um, I think I could probably say goodbye to the By Terry CC serum I'm not really reaching for that now that we're in winter again so that one can probably go now in terms of foundation there's kind of two that I'm reaching for so I'm debating whether just to keep them both in there and that's the Laura Mercier the tinted moisturizer but the oil free one I like this one a lot more because it feels a bit more heavy coverage without being like full coverage just a little bit more than the non oil free one and then the Dior skin glow foundation this is a bit more like heavy coverage so I've been kind of reaching for both of them at the moment so I think I'm going to keep both of them in there um i've got the laura mercier pure pan canvas primer i'm waiting for this this is almost done and then i'm going to switch over this is the illuminating one and then i'll switch over to the protecting one which i picked up recently i'm loving the laura mercier this is the caviar stick and strike a rose and i absolutely adore it. i've been using it quite a lot actually you guys would have seen i did um my makeup with it in a vlog, couple of vlogs ago now um and i loved the look of it we then have the Lancome Hypnose Mascara, which I absolutely adore. It's like my favourite mascara at the moment. It's a lot fuller than the Lancome Idol. So if you're looking for a, something a little bit more like va va -voom, I would definitely recommend this. And then in terms of eyebrow products, I think my Refi, it's time to say goodbye to it because in all honesty, it's like practically empty at this point. Um, but in terms of just colour, I've been using the Dior... This is the Dior Brow Styler, which is just like a little stick that i have the shade one i have quite a light eyebrow shade so i'm keeping that i think i might chuck that which means i'm gonna have to get out a new eyebrow gel and i have actually been wanting to try the new benefit ones that i was sent recently so maybe we can get that out so the two that i'm thinking of bringing out now number one is the 24 hour brow setter which is just a really great eyebrow gel i used to use this all the time um i like it just in like the clear gel because it means that it's like not i find people that go for a color gel weird because to me it really doesn't look natural on your brows so i'm going to add that now the brow palette i haven't actually had a chance to use yet but i'm kind of tempted maybe not to put it in my makeup bag but just in my drawer here because i do still really want to give the um like wax a go because my eyebrows are so thick that i do sometimes find i haven't actually used a gel in a really long time um the refi isn't quite a gel there's like barely any packaging on this it's all on the box which obviously i've been a long time ago the refi is like a weird mix of like a gel and a wax which i think is what i really liked about it so i don't know if the clear brow gel is going to hold my brows so i might switch to the wax but i think i'm probably just going to keep the wax in the drawer so that it doesn't take up too much space in my makeup bag so we can put all the bits in now that's going to be a lot lighter in terms of how much is in here because that has been a real good cull et voila it closes that makes me very happy this is the old lydia miller um x elizabeth arden makeup bag which i really like i like vanity bags that you can kind of just open and like shift around it i don't like ones where you have to like empty it out every time that you do your makeup i should probably look at getting a new makeup bag maybe i could ask for one for christmas because this is very old now but it does the job it does the trick and it looks really pretty on my makeup table <laughs> Okay, so it's a little while later now and I wanted to, to sit down to chat to you guys about a few new and bits that I have recently picked up. And I haven't actually done like a sit down video in a while and used the setup to like have a seat and have a chat. So I thought now's the perfect opportunity, especially because this is a new brand that I am trying and I've never actually shopped at this brand before, but I had a couple of people kind of suggest it um, and recommend I try a few pieces on there. And when I went onto the website, I was like, there are so many gorgeous pieces on here. I can't believe I've never heard of it before. So I'm not sure how well you can see the packaging there, but it's a brand called Jing. I believe that's how you pronounce it. J.ing. Jing? Jing? I have no idea, but they had some really really gorgeous pieces now it is an american like brand so it does get shipped over from america so in terms of like taxes i'm not entirely sure how much you would have to pay in terms of like vat to get into the country these pieces were really really kindly sent to me from the brand because they offered for me to try some bits from their website for me to choose a couple of pieces that i really liked the look of and then let you guys know what i thought of them so in terms of like taxes and stuff i'm not entirely sure what i will do is i'll see if i can find some on their website and i will leave down below in the description box along with a wink 
a wink, a link to their website. I'll leave it down below in the description. So make sure to check that out. But I thought we could unbox and go through the pieces that I chose, test them out, see what we think, because when it comes to like new fashion brands, it's really exciting to try them out. So this first item we have here, I'm already loving the look of, and it is this stunning A-line skirt. Now you guys will know I adore A-line skirts. I have quite a few in my collection. I've got my one with the side slit. I've got my like leather look one from New Look. I've got my one with the zip down from Karen Millen. And now I can add in this gorgeous button number. This is so, so cute. Now, what size did I pick this up in? Think a large, I believe. Yeah, I'm pretty sure a large, which if you're new around here and you don't know my sizing, I'm like a 12 on bottom and a 10 on top. So I usually go medium on top, large on bottom, depending on like brands and stuff. But pick the skirt up in a large. And looking at it, I think it's going to be a good size. I really, really love the like button detail. Looks very River Island, Bang Man kind of inspired. I'm loving the gold buttons. And I love this gold kind of trimming that's running around. I think it's really, really cool. I think this will be a really cute little winter skirt paired with like just a jumper like this and maybe some little tight to keep you snugly warm i think this is such a cute little skirt so as i was putting this skirt on i realized it's not actually a skirt but a pair of skorts which i absolutely adore i think they're so so cute now if you remember a little while ago i did a misguided haul where i put on a pair of skorts that were actually kind of similar where they had this like the shape and i wasn't a fan of them but i really like this pair i feel like maybe it's the black i just think the black suits me a little bit better and fits me a bit better now it is a little bit tight i think if i wanted a lot of room like around my waist and stuff i could have gone up for an extra large but if i had done that i do worry that it wouldn't have been as like nicely tight fitted you know what i mean because i do like the a-line look so just something to know that if you want them to be a little bit looser and to have a little bit more room go up a size but if you like it to be like a little tight cute little skirt then stay to your true to size right the label is like <laughs> got the label hanging out underneath um but i really really like them i think they're so cute i think they're very wearable and especially with a little pair of tights i think will just look absolutely adorable for autumn winter so i definitely recommend these they are just so so cute okay next we have another skirt i clearly went a little bit skirt crazy oh my gosh i've just realized it's not a skirt <gasps> it's scorts oh my word and now i remember looking at this and thinking this will be such a cute little wintry skirt to add into my wardrobe now it's very white so i feel like it's making the camera go a little bit odd i'm very very sorry about that but it is this gorgeous like white kind of boucle with a little bit of a sparkle running through the thread skirt and i feel like for winter this is going to be absolutely adorable paired with like a christmasy jumper i know a lot of people are really loving like white tights at the moment so if that's your vibe maybe some like white pattern tights a beret a little scarf over the top i think this could look so so cute i can totally imagine going to like events in london in this i think it would look so so cute and the fact that it's squats is going to make me very nice and secure because there is nothing worse than like walking around london and you're i, I won't lie i was actually in these kind of skater skirts i do find that sometimes i was wearing like a leather skater skirt the other day and i was literally on the tube just like holding my skirt down because i'm suddenly very aware of how like open it is so i feel like this is a very nice alternative to that this skirt is also super super cute now in terms of sizing i'm not sure about the sizing i feel like it's weird it's a little bit looser around the legs than the black one but in terms of the waist it's a bit tighter so take that what you will um i just think this is absolutely adorable i love the kind of like slit detail with like the shorts underneath these are much more shorty shorts like this is a very escort look and at the back you can tell that they're shorts whereas with the black one i couldn't tell they were shorts until i tried them on because obviously they were more like concealed but i do like this if you're looking for a new little escort and you like the kind of like white boucle it's a bit better which I kind of like. I feel like this with like a Christmas jumper, Maria Farrell jumper would look so, so cute. Obviously it does need a little bit of steaming here. It's a bit creased up from the journey, but I think it is a super cute little pair of skorts and I definitely recommend picking it up because it's just adorable. Okay, and then we have a really gorgeous top. Now this is beautiful it's this like satiny kind of balloon sleeve very regency very kind of like 
elevated star and I feel like this would look gorgeous. I know a lot of you guys have been asking me for a lot of like workwear suggestions recently. If you're someone that has a very feminine style and you really like to incorporate that into your workwear wardrobe, this would be absolutely beautiful. It's like a bit of an off-white, it's a bit creamy, but it has these gorgeous buttons. I don't know how well you can see them running down it. It's absolutely stunning. These like pearl buttons. What size did I pick this one up in? A medium slash large. So I don't know if like American mediums and larges are any different from the UK, but we will find out when we try these pieces on. But I just thought this paired with one of the skirts or maybe paired with like a pair of trousers, maybe like tailored trousers, would just look so, so beautiful. So elevated and like a really easy outfit that you can just kind of reach for when you want to look really elevated and like you put a lot of effort into what you're wearing when actually you've just literally picked up two pieces and chucked them on together. <laughs> Now I feel like this might be a blouse that divides opinions a little bit because I personally love it, but I can imagine it's not for everyone. I feel like this is a bit of like a Marmite item. You either love it or you hate it, but I feel like this with a pair of like wide leg trousers or even this skirt actually looks kind of cute. I really, really like how the blouse looks. It's very soft and silky, which I absolutely adore. And I do have like a top underneath, which you can kind of see, but I feel like if you were to wear a higher necked vest, you could get away with layering this up and wearing it a lot more for like winter months, which I really, really like. I love how Regency it is. I love the buttons going down. I've just done all of the buttons up now, but you could wear it a little bit more open, a little bit more casually. I just think it's a really cute little shirt. And I think this is the kind of thing that you could wear to the office. You could dress up for an evening or you could layer up for day to day. I think there are lots of different ways that you could wear this and I really, really like it. Okay, I'm not gonna lie, I saved the best item to last. This was the item I was most most excited to receive and most excited about when I saw it on the website and it is this adorable little cardigan would you look at that I'm absolutely in love it has these stunning buttons going down at which again a very like I feel like this is a very Chanel inspired cardi I think it's so so cute it's like quite a thick like open weave knit which is quite nice because it means it's going to keep you nice and snugly warm but you can layer it up this is the kind of thing you can wear in so many different ways you could wear it with a roll neck like this and have that kind of like poking out underneath for a very old money aesthetic kind of vibe or you could wear it open with maybe like a little dress you could wear it with roll necks v-necks any kind of style i think this is just so so cute and i've been really loving adding cardigans into my wardrobe so a great way to add a little extra warmth and like a little extra layer while still being very feminine and still not like losing that feminine touch in your winter wardrobe and i know femininity can be quite difficult sometimes to incorporate in a winter wardrobe in a very like elegant classy like grown-up way it's very easy to add like girly young feminine into your wardrobe but i feel like a, a mature feminine can sometimes be a bit tricky but i feel like this is the perfect item to add into your wardrobe okay i told you i'd save the best item till last and i was not joking this is just adorable i've literally just left it untucked so you can see the kind of length because it is a little bit cropped which obviously looks a little bit odd with the skirt if i was to wear it with the skirt i would definitely like tuck it in make it a little bit more kind of like styled up but i love it i absolutely love it i think you could also wear this a lot just like untucked with as i said like maybe a black roll neck underneath or something just really really simple but i love it so so much it's really really cute and such a like elevated cardi to add into your wardrobe so i definitely recommend picking this one up it's got the most gorgeous design features and i feel like i'm get, like, gonna get so much wear out of it over the next few months okay so jing haul I'm impressed. I definitely have to say, I think there are some really, really cute pieces here. So I will link down below to all the items as well as to Jing's website. I definitely think you should check them out. And I will leave all the info that I can find down below in the description box as well. If you want to know any info about sizing, about tax and VAT and returns and shipping i will try and find all the info and leave that down below for you guys this isn't in any way sponsored by the way i just wanted to try these pieces they sent them to me with no obligation but i just thought whenever i find new retailers it's always fun to tell you guys about them a new place that you can discover some new in pieces i feel like they have a really wide selection of items so definitely go and check them out wowee <laughs> that is some hairstyle that i'm coming at you with coming at you with coming with you yes no who knows? That is some hairstyle that I'm rocking this morning. I've literally just cut my hair. So I usually like to curl my hair first, then do my makeup and let my hair just like cool down a little bit before I brush through the curls, just because I find that if I brush them through when they're still hot, 
they drop so badly so to create a color that actually lasts i like to leave it looking this corkscrewy for at least half an hour um but i i'm coming to you a few days later i'm not going yet to lie i've had one of those weeks where it's just been so busy and so hectic which i will chat to you guys about that in a little bit but i'm kind of just in the process of doing my morning makeup and i have a little bit of an event today which i thought i would go a little bit extra with my makeup because it's fun to go a little bit extra and just do a little bit more than like my usual fairly boring makeup that i do every single day so of course i'm just going to be i mean i've already done like the base of my makeup i've done my foundation which i used the dior forever forever skin glow absolutely adore that i worked on a campaign on that last year and I have loved it ever since. It was like one of my favorite campaigns I did. Um, so love that foundation, that's not sponsored now. Um, oh, for base, I use the Laura Mercier Illuminating Primer. Um, brows, I've just used like my Dior brow pencil. And then bronzer, I used the Dior, lots of Dior this morning. The Dior Forever Soft Bronze Natural Bronzer, which I absolutely adore. Honestly, every time I pick it out though, I like wipe my hands on my trousers first because I'm just desperately trying not to ruin the packaging because it's so pretty so i've already done that so far and i'm now just getting onto my eyes of course i'm going to kind of um like base them is that the right word i'm just going to kind of create a base with my favorite bronzer i think i've spoken about this before but basically i have quite sensitive eyes and my eyes don't always like a lot of eyeshadow on them so I just try to kind of be a bit mindful of that whenever I'm doing eye looks. And I always find that bronzer is just a little bit lighter on my eyes and a little bit less like, it just affects my eyes a lot less. So I tend to reach for, bron not tend to, I always reach for bronzer just in terms of my kind of like base color that I go for. So I just kind of rub that all along the lid and quite a lot in the crease and I just kind of blend it out a little bit um just to create a bit more of a subtle look and as you guys know I usually just for my really like kind of casual everyday looks I will just use this bronzer and then the liner um to create the line and that's pretty much all I do for a day-to-day -day basis but I'm gonna go a little bit extra today just because it's fun I've just tried to change the lighting a bit because I feel like I was looking really stark in those first few clips so um I don't know if that's any better. I really hate sometimes how different the camera picks up colours compared to like in real life. Because in real life, I'm quite bronzed. I fake tanned last night. I'm looking very glowy. And then whenever I look at the camera, I'm like, oh, you look really pale, Ellie. So I'm hoping that's a little bit better. Now I'm trying to start to decide what I want to go for. I think I'm going to use the NARS Afterglow palette because I really like the colours in this. And I'm really struggling. I'm thinking I want to go for a bit more of a pinky eye today. So I think I might go for like basically these two shades here. They're coming up a bit pinker on camera than they are in real life. But they're like a very nice, soft, subtle pink. I really like this one. This is a really nice, just like shimmery. So I think I might go for those today. pinky eye look i really like how that's turned out so i've just gone for just to talk you through this shade here which is mad love yeah this shade is mad love and the shade is trouble so i've basically just gone for mad love all over my lid and a little bit in my crease and i've brought it under my eye just a little bit i then brought out my laura mercier caviar stick which i'm loving at the moment and just went all over my lid with that as well this one is in the shade striker rose absolutely adore it so just to add a bit more of like a pinky tone and then i went over the top of that with this one down here trouble and then just in the inner corner of my eye is this whitey color which is i think first taste which i really really like it just kind of brightens my eyes up a little bit and then i'm just going to finish that off with the brown color right there in the corner and do my usual liner flick 
here we have the finished makeup look. I've just brushed my hair out, so still needs to drop a little bit more, but I'm really, really loving the makeup. We've gone for like a really pinky eye, which I am really, really enjoying. I think it really suits my skin tone. I don't know what it is. I just realized my necklace is like tucked into my jumper. Um, I think it really suits my skin tone. It looks really, really lovely. Of course, I've done my classic eyeliner flick. I know I've directed a lot of you guys to my reel, and loads of you have said that it's helped you out in terms of like how you do your eyeliner and everything like that so yeah just done a little bit of a flick and i have the ysl lipstick on today um which i'll probably have to top up before i head out tonight which i'm so excited for tonight events i don't think i've actually told you where i'm going but tonight i'm heading out for an event with pandora which i'm so so looking forward to to celebrate their pandora me collection which i absolutely adore i have so many pandora bracelets and rings and everything like that you guys know how much i love the brand so i'm really excited about that tonight but it's not till a bit later so i have a bit of time this morning to chill out get some work down it gets some bits sorted and yeah so i'm gonna go make myself a coffee and then we can have a little sit down and a chat so as i said it's been a seriously hectic week so i'm sorry that i haven't been picking up the vlogging camera as much but now that we are coming into november i think this is probably going to be the last video of october that goes up now that we're coming into november things are busy like one of the things in this job is that november and december are just the busiest months ever like we have so much to do in those months and i've already been doing so much work to like plan and prep and just try and get ahead as much as possible and the main things i've been focusing on recently is black friday and i'm so so excited about it i have just finished my kind of like getting ready my black friday hub on my blog if you guys haven't been around since last year you might not know but i just try and be as helpful as possible on black friday i go ham for you guys like i always call myself your personal shopper throughout the week of Black Friday and before because a lot of discounts start happening before Black Friday week actually starts. So I'm doing so many blog posts. I do lots of like edits. I've been really enjoying just doing like lots of edits at the moment actually with different kind of themes. Like I know you guys have been sending me in requests which I have been loving. We've had like a cape edit, the um, Amazon fashion edit, we've had the ch chunky knit edit, like we've had so many different edits and I've been really, really enjoying doing them. So if you're not following me on the blog or you didn't know that I have a blog, I will link it down below, it's just petitelly.com, super simple, but make sure to go and follow me on there. You can subscribe to my blog and get like email updates of like new posts and things that are going live. I put all of my edits over on there. One thing that I do find is we'd like to know it, you can only link 16 items. So sometimes if I wanna do a few more, I'll do a full edit on the blog as well. And throughout Black Friday, I am just all over the blog. Like I do a daily updated edit with all of the discounts, whether it's like you need a discount code or each read Taylor does like a different maybe on Monday it's like jumpers are discounted Wednesday jeans are discounted that Friday coats are discounted so like I will keep you up to date on all of the current discounts because I know how overwhelming it can be and I try and be as useful as possible for you guys and just make as as much as I can do just to make it as easy as possible for you because as I said Black Friday can be really really overwhelming and if you're not prepared and if you don't really know what you're kind of like looking for it can be really really intimidating so I am going to be having lots of like Black Friday prep videos going live throughout November with like my best tips things to avoid my own wish list all of the information that I can give you but also make sure that you're following me on the blog because I also have a lot of info written down and I have my Black Friday hub which is all ready to go live for when the sales do start to come in so i'm so so excited about it and i just can't wait to be your black friday little fairy again because i know so many of you guys messaged me last year and just said how helpful all of the posts were and like the fact that they really just helped you make more informed decisions and stuff like that so i basically just spent the week working on black friday content and working away on things that are going to help you guys as much as possible so that's why i haven't picked up the vlogging camera for a couple of days but 
seeing as we have the event today i couldn't not pick it up and take you guys along with me because i'm really excited about tonight and it's been such a long time that i have been to like a big event like this it's like a proper like night clubby kind of like um there's going to be live music apparently there's arcade games and i'm taking charlotte along with me so it's gonna be a really really fun girls night that i wanted to bring you guys along with us but I am still currently in the process of planning Black Friday and planning just kind of like coming into the winter months. And one of the things that I've been wanting to do is an updated coat collection. When I say updated, I don't even know if I've done one before. But last night at like 10 o'clock, he almost killed me. I asked Alex to help me get my coats out from underneath the bed because I've got like a big box of winter coats that I haven't brought out yet. But I was like, I want to bring them out and see what I've got because in all honesty, it sounds really bad, but I literally forgotten what was in there. So I wanted to bring them out, bring them in my collection, do a little like video for you guys of all of my updated coats, which I think will probably go live. Maybe not the video next, but the one after that. And I want to just like film and go through all of my coats and then maybe have a little bit of a clear out and decide if there's any that like maybe don't serve me anymore. I'm not going to get the wear out of then I can kind of like clear through them, put them maybe up on my Depop, give them to friends and family and just get organized so that is the plan of action for this morning also just to quickly show you today's outfit of the day i just wanted to be super comfy before i headed out tonight so i will be changing this evening and showing you my evening o o t d n o t d night no outfit of the night o o t n wow we got there eventually can you tell i'm just like um, but I'm just wearing something super comfy. So today I just have on this really cozy jumper dress, which I absolutely love. I'll probably put on tights later because it's really, really cold now. Like we have seriously come into autumn or winter now. We're no longer in like autumn. It's now autumn, winter. So I will be definitely wearing tights later, I think. Um, but you guys are going to have to help me choose my outfit later because I'm not entirely sure what I'm going to wear. But for now, I'm just wearing a super cozy jumper and I've just belted it with my favourite H&M belt, which you can't see all that well because obviously it's black on black, but I just absolutely do all this. I know so many of you guys have been shopping this belt already. Very designer-esque. Very, is it the Loewe one it's inspired by? I cannot remember for the life of me. But it looks so much more expensive than it actually is and I've had so many of you guys buying it. It also comes in brown. I'll link them both down below along to the link to this jumper dress because it's super cozy and perfect for like a day at home when you just want to be super snuggly and super warm and super cozy but you also still want to feel chic like I've already had to answer the door to my postman this morning and I didn't feel embarrassed to answer it so that is a win for a cozy at home outfit. I'm actually so excited to have gotten out this box. I was just going to start unboxing it and like getting the clothes out myself but I started seeing items and I was like, oh my gosh, I miss this so much. So I won't show you too much because I don't want to ruin my coat collection video, but just a couple of things that I'm so excited to be bringing out that I literally have not worn in a year. Starting with my favourite. This is actually old Topshop, but so many different retailers that bring out this coat every single year that it is just an absolute classic. It is one of those coats, and I remember, so my mum actually hates this coat. It's so funny because every time I wear it, she's like, oh, snowman's back because it's just so big and fluffy and she thinks I look really silly in it but I think I look really cute um and I remember when I first got it and she was like that is literally going to be a coat that you keep in your wardrobe for a couple of months and no way is that going to last you like you're going to chuck that away in a few weeks and it's lasted me three years so far so ha suck on that mom <laughs> No, but seriously, I absolutely adore it. So cozy, it's so fluffy, really, really chic. One of my absolute favourite coats. I cannot wait to start wearing that again. Another one I can't wait to start wearing, which is kind of like one of the ones I've been waiting to bring out, is my black aviator coat. I absolutely adore this. I've seen as well, actually, that River Island have a cream version from the petite section. I think this is petite. Oh, maybe it's not. Again, it's old Topshop, but River Island have a really similar version. I'll link it down below because so many different retailers do these black aviator coats and they are just classic. They're very acne inspired. Obviously, I think acne were the ones that kind of like started the trend, but so many brands have jumped on them and I absolutely love it. There are so many gorgeous high street versions of these at the moment. So I would definitely recommend picking one up and I'll link the cream one down below because that might be next on my autumn winter wish list honestly so many gorgeous coats okay i need to start hanging these up and getting them sorted because i feel like they need a little bit of time to just like air before i start filming the video because i don't want them to look all like creased up and horrible for the video because they have been in this box for at least maybe like eight nine months i can't remember when i put them away exactly but 
I am so excited to have them back out and start planning when I can start wearing them again. Oh my god, guys, they don't even all fit in the wardrobe. Bear in mind, I literally have just bought another wardrobe. I don't know how I coped last year, but I'm struggling <laughs> Look at that. to close the doors. Oh, that is absolutely hilarious. We're definitely going to have to like cull through these a little bit after this video, but I've just been steaming some of them because some of them are like a little bit creased up. Um, and in case you're wondering, I did do a collaboration with this brand last year, but this isn't like in collab at all, but this was a part of the promotion that I did. So this was like a PR product. So just for declaration, um, the Tefal, Tefal, oh, how do you pronounce it? Is it Tefal? I think it is Tefal. Tefal steam powered steamer. Oh my God. It is brilliant. I'll link this exact one down below because it's changed my life. It really has changed my life. And I don't know what I did without it before, especially when it comes to things like coats, which let's be honest, you can't really iron coats. Um, so when it comes to like kind of getting them back in shape and also cleaning them, it does actually clean. I think it's like 99.9% .9 of bacteria and viruses come off from steaming. So it's a great way to like give them a bit of a refresh, give them a rejuge. So I've just done that. So I'm really hot now because obviously this room has been filled with very warm steam for the last half an hour. But the coat's now looking so fabulous, ready for me to do my little coat collection video. I am so excited about that one. Goodness, so I've just finished filming my winter coat collection video and wowie am I tired now there were so many to get through so make sure you keep an eye out on the vlogs that will be coming I don't think the next video but I think the one after that so make sure you subscribe because you're not going to want to miss that I literally feel like the woman in 27 dresses now trying to get all these coats back in like this wardrobe literally won't stay shut from all of the coats it is actually dreadful so I'm definitely going to need your help in that video deciding which coats to keep and which ones are to move on from. But I popped into town the other day and I wanna show you what I picked up because I picked up some pieces from a retailer that I could not even tell you the last time when I shopped at this retailer was. So I picked up some pieces from Primark Home. And I literally don't remember the last time I was in Primark, I think. I genuinely think it might have been pre-pandemic because after we came out all of the lockdowns and stuff, the queues to get into Primark was always just insane. And I was like, I'm not going to be waiting in that queue just to get a bargain jumper or something like that. Um, but it's calmed down now. And I actually saw, I can't remember who it was. Someone on Instagram did a little like come shopping with me kind of story edit and showed loads of Primark home pieces. And I was like, there are some really cute pieces in. And I kind of was, I was looking a little bit at the Christmas section, but I was a bit more restrained and I didn't actually get anything Christmassy just yet, but I did pick up a couple of pieces. So I thought I would show you what I got because I cannot remember the last time I bought anything from Primark, but I wanted to show you what I bought myself. A really exciting home purchase. If there's anything more exciting than a shopping board, I don't know what it is. <laughs> but I picked up this like wooden chopping board and I know this seems so, so boring, but I've been wanting to pick up a wooden chopping board for bread for a little while now. Now, um, I think 90% of you probably know that I'm gluten free and the best gluten free bread that I always find is the Warburton's Tiger Loaf, which I absolutely love, but it's like not pre-sliced. So you've got to slice it yourself. And I, I just feel a bit Mm, slicing it on like the plasticky chopping boards where I know that there's been like chicken and veg and stuff like that and I know they're clean like obviously they've been through the dishwasher but also I feel like sometimes you don't like especially because it's only breadcrumbs you don't actually have to put the whole thing back in the dishwasher but it doesn't like brush off of the plastic one very easily and the amount of times Alex has gone into the drawer and been like Ellie why are there breadcrumbs on this like and I'm like oh because I just brushed it off and he's like you should put it in the dishwasher I'm like but it doesn't need to go in the dishwasher it's just a bit wasteful so anyway I wanted to pick up a, a chopping board that is basically just dedicated to my gluten-free bread. So that all I have to do is just brush it down, put it back on the side, and then I can use it every time that I want to cut myself some toast, make myself a sandwich, all of that jazz. And it was £12, which is fabulous. I'll need to peel off this sticker. Um, but such a good price. I'm very impressed because I've been looking at ones in um home sense and i have been tempted a couple of times and also actually i found some at h&m home some at zara i was like this close at least five times to picking up ones for like 25 30 pounds and i just something was stopping me and i think it was because the perfect one was waiting for me at primark home so it's got these little leather handles which i think are cute and i think i'm just gonna like lean it up in the kitchen i think that would look really nice so i picked up that 
I then also picked up, now this is a really, really boring purchase again, but some lights. And the reason why is because I saw someone on TikTok does this in her bathroom. And basically, hers a sensor, but I'm obviously not gonna get sensor lights. She's got these little lights that she kind of puts like on the wall. And then it means if you go to the toilet in the middle of the night, or if you're waking up, like, you know, obviously we're all waking up before it's light now. And sometimes you don't wanna turn on the full light um, because it's just a bit like, woo, much, you know what I mean? So I feel like these might be really cool just to stick on the wall and then you can just click them as you come in and then it does give you a little bit of light, but it's not like blinding. So we'll see how that works. I have no idea if it's gonna work, but I saw someone on TikTok does it and I was like, that's very, very clever. And then the last thing I picked up was some more metal straws, which I feel like you can never have too many metal straws. They did actually have some like small ones, which I thought were really cute. And I was kind of tempted to get them because Alex has been really getting into his gin recently. So we've been having lots of like gin cocktails and stuff at the weekend, um, but I feel like I would only use them for gin and then that almost seems a bit wasteful. So I was like, if I, at least with these, I can use them with other things like Cokes and any kind of like fizzy drinks. I usually try and use a straw. My brother is actually trying to be a dentist and he constantly tells me I should use a straw for my coffee, but I'm like, that just feels so wrong. I'm not gonna use a straw for my coffee because obviously it stains your teeth, which is not great. But um, I picked these up. So yeah, there's my mini, mini Primark home haul. That was everything. <laughs> Okay, I definitely need your guys' help in terms of deciding what to wear tonight because I haven't been to an event like this in so long and I'm literally getting that what do I wear vibe. Me and Charlotte have already been texting each other like, what are you wearing? So I think I've got three options for outfits and annoyingly, you can't help me decide like here and now because obviously this is going up like a week after it's happened. Um, but I've got three options that I'm really not sure which one to go with. So I think the kind of overall vibe for tonight is quite like clubby vibe. It's like a big, you know, music. There's like a concert kind of thing. Um, and I'm just not sure if this is kind of hitting the mark. Now, obviously I will not wear it with slippers. I will be wearing it with like chunky boots. This I wore on a recent uh, meal out and I love it. But I just don't know if it's quite like clubby. It's definitely very like meal out vibes. You know what I mean? I'm not sure what i think about this i do love this combo this is the karen millen top um paired with my river wide leg trousers and i love it i do feel really confident in it but i just don't know if i'm quite hitting the mark in terms of like the vibe for tonight okay this is option number two which is a little bit more clubby vibes i've just got on my favorite black slit skirt um with just like a black roll neck but i don't know if i'm playing it a bit too safe i mean this is a very ellie outfit you know what i mean like the gucci tights as well um one thing i will say i'm probably gonna have to take up my knee because i know i'm gonna be standing for a long time tonight so if you've not been following along with the vlogs, you won't really understand what I'm talking about. But um, I'll link below to the vlog that I kind of go into like a deep explanation about my knee. <laughs> um, I think I'm going to have to tape it up, which you can see through the tights. It is going to be dark and I don't know if it's going to bother me. If it's just going to be something I'm going to have to get used to. Um, I'm just not sure if this is just a bit too playing it safe i'm not sure final option which i have just chucked boots on with are my princess polly trousers which i do really love them i just don't know if i feel as confident in them i'm not so sure but they are really cool but then are they like dressy enough oh i think i'm gonna have to like send pics to charlotte and ask her what she thinks i should wear because i don't know i do love these trousers though and at least people won't see my knee brace. I'm not sure. Okay, knee is all taped up and I've chosen my outfit. I've decided to go for the skirt and tights combo, which as I said, I feel like it's playing it safe a little bit, but you know what? There's nothing wrong with playing it safe when it comes to feeling confident. And I feel really confident in this, despite the fact that you can definitely see my knee strapping through my tights, but you know what? Oh well, such is life at the moment. Um, so, yeah, really looking forward to it. I'm wanting to not go fully black with this outfit, so I've decided I'm gonna be pairing this with my Princess Polly brown leather jacket, which I think really goes with the outfit and just kinda like, not casuals, but almost like 
edges it up a little bit which I really like and then I'm going to be wearing my Chloe sea bag which I have just reignited my love for it um, I love it because I can wear it crossbody whilst at the event but I can also you know hold it in my hand like this and you know I don't have to worry about like where it's going to be and it also fits so much in it when it which is so handy like I literally have in this I've got my purse I've got a mask we've got <laughs> tissues um hand gel and then my camera will also be able to go in there so very happy about my bag choice i've also just updated my jewelry to my evening wear jewelry this is an old pandora ring that i absolutely adore and then this one is also pandora pretty much all of my bracelets and rings that i'm wearing today are pandora because you can't not wear the brand to their own event but i just absolutely adore these pieces i always save them for like evening wear outfits because i just think they're such statement jewelry pieces if it wants to focus there there we go they're such statement pieces i just think they're so so pretty so i am ready to go and i'm absolutely loving this outfit i feel very confident which is always i think the most important thing when it comes to outfits especially when like going to places that are maybe a little bit outside your comfort zone it's been so long since i've been like clubbing drinking that kind of thing so the most important thing is that i'm just feeling really confident in my outfit i definitely think i do so getting ready to go now we should probably head out the door so I don't keep charlotte waiting because we're going to grab dinner beforehand and just have a bit of a girly catch up um because it's been a couple of weeks since i last saw her and then alex has said that he is on standby to pick me up from the station tonight um and has just told me to have a really fun girls night and that i deserve it so i'm really looking forward to this it's probably the most unflattering night i've ever seen in my entire life but i am with charlotte now we're just sitting down to have some dinner we're having some pizza. Mine is, of course, gluten-free. We've both gone for margaritas because we are the most basic bitches in the entire world. It's great. But it's great. We're having the loveliest catch-up. Having a nice dinner. Yummy. Right, we are just heading to the venue now. I'm not gonna lie. Wow, my camera does not like this lighting. Um, <laughs> it's looking really dodgy, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. uh, uh, are we've we been, we've been given like instructions. It's in a graffiti tunnel. But this is currently what we are walking towards. <laughs> We're both like, I mean, hopefully, hopefully it's the right place. Are we gonna survive? I don't know. Tune in to find out more. Let you know. <laughs> you were my best friend. Didn't care about the rules, good on the weekends. I'll be in fools, drifting the deep space. So brave and so stupid, just like the movies I was gonna stay in the fight with you Just thinking we would do this until we couldn't do it Each and every high, every night with you You and me so clueless We were just broken, shattered Singing along to nothing matters Stray around like
my word, you all right? Best time. Had the best night. We're just heading back to the tube station now, but it was so much fun. There were so many lovely people there. Ooh, I thought it was green, sorry. Sorry, no, it is green. Okay, we can go. We're okay. Go, 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 go. He was just going really quick. <laughs> I thought I was gonna die. I um, <laughs> honestly, so many people there. I'm not gonna lie, I felt really old because there were so Shut many TikTokers me. there that I didn't know. But you're Ellie on TikTok. Not old. I'm old. But you're on TikTok and I'm not. I'm a young soul. So there was a lot of old people there. No, I was old. There's a lot of young people there on TikTok no, that are really cool. You're and young, I'm not old. But you feel I'm old. Cool. I'm, cool. I'm old. So I feel young. Um, so, we so, <laughs> so we yeah, did but it was so much fun. Everyone was so lovely. The music was amazing. Charlie XCX was phenomenal. I go back. Phenomenal. <laughs> so yeah, we're heading home now. I feel like I'm gonna sign off this vlog here because I, I know as soon as I get home, I'm just gonna crash. There's no way I'm gonna be, it's green man, green man. Oh. Um, there's no way I'm gonna be picking up this vlogging camera as soon as I get home. I'm just gonna get straight into bed, take my makeup off. You know that I am the main character of this evening. What? Right? I'm the main character of this evening. You are not. <laughs> <laughs> I'm joking. <laughs> <laughs> So I'm gonna say goodbye, let's go quick. Um, I'm gonna say goodbye quickly now before I get home and forget and crash. So I hope you enjoyed this vlog. I know it's a bit of a long one, but we love, I know that a lot of you guys, whenever I apologize about long vlogs, comment saying you love the long vlogs. So I hope the ones that love the long vlogs liked this one because it's close to an hour at this point. Um, but I hope you stuck around to see me. <laughs> my favorite person. <laughs> so, right, I'm going now. Good night, I love you. See you in the next one. Bye.